Hello there, I'm Dr. Steve Broughton. Welcome to Tooth Fairy Tales. At Light Dental Studios, we love the magic behind dentistry. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss what the Tooth Fairy is going to do next. Hi guys, welcome to the Tooth Fairy Tales, the magic behind dentistry. I am the Light Dental Studios Tooth Fairy, and today I have a special guest, Dr. Melanie Jenkins. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Jenkins. Thanks for having me. Oh, of course. So Dr. Jenkins is a really special guest because you guys, guess what? Dr. Jenkins knew she wanted to be a dentist when she was 12 years old. Can you believe that? 12, just a little girl. So what made you decide to become a dentist at 12? I always really loved going to the dentist because I loved getting my teeth cleaned and they were always really nice there. And then when I was 12, I got braces which I was really excited about getting braces. I loved braces. Yeah, and my favorite part was that after you go through braces and you get your braces off, your teeth are so nice and pretty and straight. Today, Dr. Jenkins and I are each going to make a magic reading pointer. For all of our lists of supplies, you guys can see everything below. I got it all at a local dollar store. And we want to encourage you to read 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day exposes you to over 1.8 million words by sixth grade. Can you believe that? That's so many words. So we are going to make these beautiful wand reading pointers. Okay, so all you guys need is some popsicle sticks. And then I chose some really fun stickers. All you're going to do with your popsicle stick is choose what you want to be at the top of your magic reading pointer. Have washable glue to glue on some of our jewels or our sparkles. Make sure that you hashtag Light Dental Studios TFT for the Tooth Fairy Tales so that we can see your beautiful creation. Now we're going to set them aside for the next 10 minutes so that they can dry before we use them to read. And while we're waiting for them to dry, we're going to ask Dr. Jenkins some questions about fluoride. Dr. Jenkins, what is fluoride? So fluoride is actually naturally made. So it's a natural occurring mineral that's made on earth. Oh. And it's something that's found in a lot of the water um, in your own home. Why is Fluoride is so important to our teeth. Fluoride is really important because it helps to prevent tooth decay or cavities. And so it's really great because if you get fluoride, especially when you're young, it helps to make your teeth nice and strong so that you're less likely to get cavities later. So what different types of fluoride are there? So there's a couple different kinds. There's the kind that's in your water. And so all water has some fluoride in it. But some areas, some different communities, they'll add extra fluoride in there to make it so that it benefits your teeth most. So the kind of fluoride that's in your toothpaste or that you get at the dentist helps with your adult teeth. And it helps it from the outside, making them really strong and help to protect against cavities. Thank you so much, Dr. Jenkins, for joining us today on our Tooth Fairy Tales. Thanks for having me. This was so much fun. Okay, guys, if you guys have any questions for Dr. Jenkins, go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you have any ideas on crafts or something yummy to make, go ahead and put that below as well. And don't forget to subscribe, okay, guys? Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to keep brushing, flossing, and smiling.